I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at nine months old. Um, <clears throat> when I was nine months old, a neurosurgeon told my parents that I would never be able to walk, talk, eat, feed myself, anything like that. They basically told my parents that if I, <clears throat> their best case scenario would be to put me in a facility where I could be taken care of and never look back. <clears throat> you know, um, I live my life every day basically to prove people wrong the best that I can. You, just so for the record, you grapple against able-bodied grapplers and not, it's not disabled, disabled grapplers and... and no, um, to, to me, <laughs> it's not an excuse, it's just a challenge that I have to work that I have to work with. People go through through challenges every day. We all have to overcome something. Mine just happens to be that I'm in a wheelchair and I fight people for a living. Honestly, it didn't even hit me until like the ride home the next day from Boston that I did it and that like everything was, and that it was finally over. You know, and I was kind of like, well, what do I do now? But uh, <laughs> I realized that I was 1 in 80, and there's still 79 victories to go until I'm 80 and 80. And that's probably the only time that I'm going to be truly happy. Being on it means to me um, just working hard every day, um, being in a situation and giving your absolute best to that situation. That's what on it is. It's just hard work. It's, it's, uh, down and dirty, gritty, just um, eyes on the prize kind of kind of work. Basically, focus on a target and, and uh, obliterate it. That's what being on it means to me.